And that says methane powered. Hmm. Interesting. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Pioneer, good product placement. Welcome back to the channel. We are gonna get going. We're gonna go see what goes on. Tons of Pioneer stuff. I guess they're a gold member or whatnot, gold sponsor. But we're literally staying here. The conference is over here. So, or the conference center. But. I appreciate you guys watching along. We're going to dive into our day. Hopefully I get more of a voice, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, should be a it's beautiful weather. So much better than the cold. So All Light's got their monthly sale going on right now. And they actually sent me two products at the beginning of the month. And one, I was like, hey, this is the same product as before. She said, no, check the box. So arc field, but it's a UV light. And I said, that's handy because always doing AC work um, when you're doing the dye, the lights they give you are not very good. This light, as you can see, is pretty stellar. Plus, it's got a function of every other function. The other ones had laser pointers on them, which are they're handy, but not as much as what this is. So go hit the link below. Every month they send me some cool stuff. The other thing they sent me, and I was like, I didn't really think about it. Let me see if it's charged, yeah. So it's got a little clip on it. And she said, oh, we sent it because your dog. She said, clip it on his collar. When he's running around at night, he can see. And it's got different settings. And I'll, I forget what the name of this is because I took it out of the box. But yeah, Wait, we gotta turn it on. And then you can change it. So we got different colors. But go check them out. Um, links below, goes right to the Duffy Ag channel. So does help the channel out when people are buying through them bought great products like Olight products are awesome and they're always having different ones I think the sales like 40% off going on from the 12th through the 15th I believe so here's the whole reason why I'm here oh how we doing what am I doing today you have to do a prop can we do like a reel we're, we're doing jeopardy somebody said they want to watch me do jeopardy Somebody also said that there better be a camp, the campfire for the campfire talk, fireside talk. Yeah, but that would be a fire code yeah, issue. Fire code. You could do like a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, everybody, Amy. But you will all watch the old videos with Amy and the product and application with Frank. So we're hanging out here. Oh, can we show the new formulation? It's, it looks like a, like a little, like a Let's see bottle it. like bourbon. You gotta give us a rundown of what changed, what, what's different. <clears throat> okay, so they changed the formulation because it, pourability was lacking. Is that a real verb? No, <laughs> but. <laughs> that's so, the DC. That's the new, the newest and the best and the greatest and the, mm -hmm. so. Real easy to cut. A lot easier to pour. Yep. I keep sticking to myself. But don't drink it though. Even though it tastes like, it smells like cotton candy or something. It smells sweet, so yeah, keep it away from children and animals. Yeah, don't, don't drink it. This is the first time I've actually seen this planter in person. You guys keep sticking to my tag. But <clears throat> the Fent planter, which Fent is Agco, it's all, it's all one and the same now. No. Hell of a setup. Look at the flex that it can actually do. My dream fent was a 724, which is 240 horsepower. And Lucas, who we rode around with, he had a 722. And then he went to a 724, I believe. And then he told me there was a 728 coming out, which is 280 horsepower in the small frame. That's a 728, and it's got, it's balled out, so really enjoy the new Fent cabs compared to, uh, well, the old ones were nice, but a lot of people are going to say there's a lot of things that go on here, but you can program everything to run how you want it, 
And once you figure out how to run it, it's really an awesome tractor. That's cool. I like that. All your plugs. And then they got a 942, so 9 series, 420 horsepower. They got some 5 series and. Yeah, Fent is for road running and things like that from manure hauling. Tough to beat. 728, 942. You got their row crop sprayer. Pretty wild little thing. So, terror gators no longer, or row gators no longer, um, the same colors. So, it's a row gator 937H. But it's in Fent colors. So, and then they got their two track tractor, which I'm a fan of two track tractors. They got their purpose and everything. Ran one in New Zealand 9560R or 9560T. But yeah, they're quite, a, quite an animal. And it's got a PTO. That's, that's, that's neat. I can't say I've ever actually seen a two series. So pretty wild. We got some fives that float around that people mow with, but most people go right to the seven or the nine series. Eight, they're kind of phasing out. The cabs are older generation. This is a three. So, and then that's a 1050. So 500 horsepower straight frame. Planner's pretty wild. This thing's a little neat, so it's got, it's showing you you could put different varieties of seed boxes actually on the same unit, but center fill, fold planter. We just don't get fold planters by us. Like it's a, not a northeast thing. Everybody's got a front fold planter or lift and rotate. So, plus it's on a 8R410, so 410 horsepower. Pretty neat thing. Lost booth, no chopper, but this is mostly row, but it's row crop commodity. They're making more and more of an influence and a stance in the market as far as in our area, but have yet to actually see the track with tires run. I've seen a ton of videos of them. There's some guys that haul manure with them, but pretty neat. T6 180. Just a little guy. That says methane powered. Hmm. Interesting. So, I got the rundown on this. There's three or four of them in Europe that are by the plant. Being methane, they take it off the digester, but it has to be refined. Uh, he said that the run capacity with this setup is eight hours. So, bought. If you already have a digester, as he said, and as I know from the Northeast, refining that gas after, it's really not a big deal. It's the digester itself, but pretty neat, pretty neat setup. Something you don't, <clears throat> you don't always see. So, none in the U.S. though. None working. But I do like that blue. Blue's hot. So this is some of the stuff that you don't see at other farm shows, at least not in the Northeast, but they're actually running seeds through a high-speed planter. So there's a belt that rolls around so you can plant 10 miles an hour. Liquid coming out, plus the side. So it's pretty neat. Just stuff that you don't expect to ever see. The new 5000 series Kinsey, which is on 20 inch rows. What is this one? Yeah, 24 row, 20 inch, 5,700. So they got a 36 row, 20 inch, 24, and they got a 5,900. They just released it. I give Kenzie a hats off in some of their marketing videos, very well done. So they just released it and go watch the video. It's pretty sweet on it. Pretty innovative people. So at the farm show they had the blacked out one. I don't 
think it had tint. Maybe it's the same one, but I don't believe so. 400. Thing looks good. Look at the space in here. A lot of room for activities. Absolute must. Good food. It is a small, small number of men and women every day who are overseeing all of this land and friends. America's soils, our waters, our fields, our crops, our animals. America's working land is busy. It's boosts like that, like NASA, and they're talking about uh, <clears throat> utilizing what they can do to help farmers. It's just insane because you don't get that at many other trade shows. This one is superior. Well, still wandering around. <clears throat> wandered around everywhere once, but I didn't take any uh, videos of anything. So, here you guys go. Jeopardy time. Even got Lewis Lipton here cheering me on. <laughs> Chris Duffy, nice to meet you. Hey, Chris Weaver. Hey, you're Mark Thomas. Hey, Chris Weaver, nice to meet you. Wait, I gotta do zoom. I gotta zoom by the Jeopardy boy. There you go. Well, I butchered Jeopardy, not knowing any Midwest terms, but it was fun. No voice, a little challenging still. <clears throat> Hopefully we get this back by next week, but it's been pretty busy here. So I've seen a lot of good people, and a lot of good people. <laughs> That's quite the folding corn head. Someday, someday we'll a big time like that. <laughs> Eight rows probably good as we need. 